Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily 15 with Pastor Jessica. We're so excited to be here with you today. Abigail's here with me. Hi guys. We're gonna get straight into the Word of God. That's what we do every time in the Daily 15. We get into the Bible because the Bible is the? Truth. The Bible is the? Truth. The Bible is the sword of the? Spirit. The Bible is light. Say that with me. The, the Bible, Bible is, is light. light. The Bible is alive and full of? Power. Am I, what is another one? The Bible is our daily bread. Yes, the Bible is our daily bread. Amen. So you need to be reading your Bible every day and you need to be praying every day. Remember our song? When we read our Bible and we pray every day, we grow, grow, grow. grow. When we neglect our Bible and we don't read our Bible every day and we don't pray every day, then we shrink Shrink, shrink, shrink. So as Rising Oaks, if you're part of Rising Oaks at the Oaks, and you, you know the importance of reading the Word of God every day. And even if you're not a Rising Oak, you know it. If you, if you are joining in in the Daily 15, Monday through Friday, we love the Word of God. And we get into it every single day. Praise the Lord. And then we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. Say that with me. The, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say it again. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. Say that. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is the Spirit, Spirit of, of truth. truth. The Spirit of truth. Let's say it again. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is the Spirit of truth. truth. Amen. We learned that. The Bible says that. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. The Bible is the truth. And the Bible says in the book of John that Jesus is the truth. Say that. Say, Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the truth. truth. The Bible is the, the truth. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. So our Bible is so important. It's number one. Jesus is number one. The Holy Spirit is number one. Hallelujah. And we pray to Father God through Jesus. Amen. We have a heavenly father who loves us and sent his son to die for us on the cross. And he rose from the dead. He is king and he is Lord. We've learned that. If you um, want to go into a deeper teaching in that, it's not a super long one, but I go through the Bible just on what it has to say about salvation. You can look back at um, the daily 15 where it says how to be saved. And Jesus right now, he sits at the right hand of the Father, ever making intercession for us. That's what the Bible says. And he said that it was better that he leave because if he didn't leave, he couldn't, he, he, the Holy Spirit wouldn't come. He said, if I, when I leave, I'm going to ask the Father to send you another helper who is the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is here. Praise the Lord. And today we're looking at the book of John. Remember, our, there's two main parts of the Bible. Remember the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then we say that with Abigail. The Old Testament and the New Testament. And then there's four Gospels. Ready? Matthew, Mark, Mark Luke, Luke, John. Yeah. Those are the first uh, books of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Mark Luke, Luke, John. Four beginning books of the New Testament. Yes. So we're going to be looking at John chapter 14. And then, so turn there, John chapter 14, very, very important when uh, somebody's teaching the Bible, uh, when you're in church, that you get your eyes on the word of God also, okay? Even if you're hearing it, you need to see it for yourself. John chapter 14, verse 26, and verse 26 says this, praise the Lord. Actually, let's start in verse 30, 25. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. This is Jesus speaking. But the helper, say the helper. The helper. The Holy Spirit. So who is the helper? The Holy Spirit. Say the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Is the helper. Is the helper. He is your helper. He is the helper. There's no other helper better than the Holy Spirit. He's the helper helper. So anything you need help with, the Holy Spirit is there to help you, child of God. And it doesn't matter if you're not a child. He's the helper of every single person of every single age, but you have to acknowledge him. Amen. He is the Holy Spirit. You are my helper. 
Thank you. You help me in all things. That's Thank you, Lord. You acknowledge him. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the helper. It says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send. Go this way a little bit, Abigail. I can't see because oh, you're in my... That's, will send in my name. He will teach you all things. So the Holy Spirit will do what? Teach me all things. Teach you all things. So the Holy Spirit is the teacher. Say that. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is the teacher. teacher. But say, my teacher. My the teacher. Holy Spirit, Spirit is my teacher. teacher. That's amazing. And he teaches us all things. And bring to your remembrance all that I have said. That's what I want you to focus in on tonight. The word of God, Jesus is speaking right there. And he says, the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance. He will help you remember. Remember what? Let me read it to you exactly. All that I have said to you. So the Holy Spirit reminds you the word of God. Amen. When we read the word of God and we get it into our heart, then the Holy Spirit is able to speak to us and remind us of things Jesus said in the Bible. Amen. Remind us of what the Bible says, because we don't want to just be hearers of the word. We want to be what? Doers. We want to do what the word of God says. So as we put the word of God in us, when you're a school child of God and you're tempted to get angry, if you have God's word in you about love, then you can say, then the Holy Spirit will help you to remember that the Bible says, don't hit, don't, you need to love the people around you. You don't need to hit them. You don't need to say mean things to them. You don't need to lie to them. You need to love them. Amen. Be gentle, be patient with them. And so the Holy Spirit will remind you of those things. Remember, I taught you weeks ago how God loves you. So when you feel alone, maybe you feel alone at school, maybe you feel alone in general, but you know God loves you because the word of God says that. And so if you'll just listen, the Holy Spirit will tell you, Jesus loves God loves you and he'll fill you with peace because it is the truth and truth brings peace. And the Holy Spirit is so wonderful and he brings peace. He's the spirit of peace too. Praise the Lord. So thank you, Lord. So the Holy Spirit is your helper. He is your teacher. He will remind you of things Jesus said. We love you. We bless you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Say bye, Liam. Bye. Bye. bye.